people every year make the choice to build their dream home. The dream comes with a bit of a sticker shock this year, though, when it comes to the price of lumber. WTVA's Bronson Woodruff joins us now live in Tupelo, where one contractor explained why the cost of materials went up. Potential homeowners are finding business uh, building sites like the one behind me here are much more expensive right now. The owner of Legacy Construction Company told me the reason why is simply supply and demand. Well, they're up quite a bit since the first of the year. Mark Simpson said when the coronavirus hit in March and April, mills and other supply manufacturers had shut down and production was scarce. Then summer came. As it got on into the summertime, the demand got really, really high and the supply wasn't there. Right now, he said his clients are weighing their options. I got several houses to start now and, the, and homeowners are kind of looking at the, at the pros and cons of low interest rates compared to paying more for lumber. Karen Floyd is one of Simpson's customers. Right now, he's building a new house for her. And we've started, but we're just to the framing point. We've kind of got a, a little bit of a stall now. She said the stall is because of lumber costs. We're going to go ahead. It's just going to increase the cost for my house um, considerably. I've already been told potentially sixteen to twenty thousand dollars more um, because of the cost of the lumber material. I bought some OSB back in May, and I think I paid seven sixty-five a sheet for some OSB, and uh, now it's about twenty-two, twenty-three dollars for a sheet. So it's it's do the math. It's yeah. Simpson said the prices should come down in the near future. Maybe first year we might see a, a, a better decrease in materials, hopefully. Simpson added people had hoped Labor Day would be the point when costs would start to go back down. Now he says hopefully prices will reach a crest and dip lower in the next few weeks. In Tupelo, Bronson Woodruff, WTVA 9 News.